today's episode let's learn some easy tips and tricks on how to successfully grow chili peppers at home in containers and how to get a better yield growing chilies in containers coming up chili peppers is a warm weather vegetable and can be easily grown in containers firstly choosing the variety there are literally dozens of chili pepper varieties each type varies in taste size and shape mildest type is the bell pepper or the capsicum so these tips are common for all varieties of chili peppers on number 2 seed sowing chili peppers grow best in warm conditions Right time to plant seeds is when the soil temperature is around 70 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit that is 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. You need to choose a mature seed pot to grow chili peppers like this red one. Green pots are still immature and may show poor germination results. You can sow the seeds first in small containers or even seedling trays and then go for transplant after about 4 to 6 weeks. In any case the depth of sowing should not be more than 5 mm. The seed starting mix should have at least 50% compost like vermicompost or decomposed cow dung in it. They usually germinate in 1 to 2 weeks. You can transplant these after about 4 to 6 weeks. On number 3, choosing the container. You can easily grow chili peppers in small containers. It's ideally grown in a 12-inch container. You can use good quality plastic pot or a cement pot or even a grow bag. On number 4, potting soil mix a well draining soil is very important for healthy root growth a simple well draining potting mix should include 30 to 40% garden soil 30 to 40% coco peat or even peat moss and 20 to 30% compost like decomposed cow dung or vermicompost on number 5 support or staking installing stakes or support is helpful especially if they load up with fruits you can use sticks or pipes to support them You can also tie some strings to support the main stem. On number 6, sunlight or location. Chili peppers need full direct sunlight of at least 6 hours for flowering and fruiting. Also keep them in a spot where pollinator insects like butterflies and honeybees visit frequently. Otherwise they will fail to produce fruit and result in flower drop off. On number 7, watering. Give chili peppers a steady supply of moisture. but do not let the soil get soggy daily watering is the general rule and whenever you are watering water it deeply and thoroughly so that the entire root system is drenched with water and improper watering can result in flower or fruit drop off on number 8 fertilizers firstly during transplant adding some amount of phosphorus source like bone meal powder or organic rock phosphate will really help the plant to induce lots of flowering and fruiting and also it confers resistance to pests and diseases especially the leaf curl virus these two organic fertilizers are very important slow release sources of phosphorus which makes the roots stronger which in turn makes the plant grow healthier and yield better by boosting the plant immune system or the resistance against pests and disease secondly a handful of compost like the decomposed cow dung or vermicompost or both once every 15 days is the minimum requirement for chili peppers You can double this frequency or the amount in flowering stage then adding some source of calcium like gypsum or even lime or even finely powdered eggshells is also beneficial especially during the fruiting stage on number 9 pest control chili peppers is occasionally affected by pests like mealybugs aphids and white flies leaf curl virus needs a special mention If the plant is affected by the leaf curl virus, better to discard the plant so that the other plants may not get infected by the same. Best is prevention by spraying neem oil once in 15 days. Like 5 to 10 ml of neem oil plus some liquid soap in 1 liter of water is the recommended dosage. If it's already infested, you can spray weekly once or even twice until all the pests are eradicated. Make sure you do a patch test on a leaf before spraying on the entire plant. On number 10 pruning or trimming trimming promotes branching and this in turn produces more flowers and more fruits one important tip here is when the plant is about 6 to 8 inches tall 
pinching the growing tip will result in a bushier plant and also remove any flowers that appear early as the flowers diminish the plant's overall energy. You can harvest chili peppers anywhere between 60 to 100 days after planting. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and queries. Happy gardening!